Hello everyone. In this video, we will go through the process of utilizing AutoBuild to create templates and instances in Aviva System Platform Application Server based on a program structure from an Allen Bradley PLC. AutoBuild helps improve engineering efficiency by reading the structure of a PLC program and automatically building the application server templates and instances based on the PLC schema. This can lead to faster time to runtime and better integration between Aviva System Platform and your operations. AutoBuild supports Allen Bradley and Siemens PLCs, hence the ABCIP and the SI Direct communication servers are the only communication servers that support AutoBuild at the moment. The great thing about AutoBuild is that it helps you to reduce design time by leveraging existing PLC object structure to create templates and instances within System Platform. You don't even have to include all objects and attributes. You can instead trim items that don't need to be included into the SCADA project. And now let's move on to the demo. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new Galaxy to use um, AutoBuild, and I'm going to use AutoBuild on this new Galaxy. And this is best practice, in fact, because you don't know how the templates or the objects are going to look like when you create them in System Platform based on what you have in your PLC or based on your uh, PLC program. So it's always a good idea to create a Scrap Galaxy and to create all of these um, templates, objects, instances, and make all the changes that you need to make in the Scrap Galaxy, and then once you're happy with your uh, final result, basically, you can always export these objects and import them into your uh, production Galaxy. So now um, I've created the Galaxy here. I'm going to connect to it, and meanwhile, I'm going to go to the other machine where I have my PLC programming software. So here we have the Logics Designer. Um, and this is um, the program that we have running on our Allen Bradley PLC. As you can see here, we have um, the motor UDT and we also have a valve UDT. I'm not going to go into details about what's in this program, but uh, what you need to do um, in order to get the auto build process uh, started is to save this program as a um, dot l um, 5x file basically and i'm going to save that in my desktop this is what you need to utilize your auto build in offline mode now that i have it saved on my desktop i'm going to go back to where my um, system platform program is and i'm going to go to the um, smc here so as you can see here um, we have the ABC IP communication driver, which is for Allen Bradley PLCs. And then um, you can see how to configure in the documentation for the ABC IP communication driver, you can see how to configure the connection to your PLC. Um, but I'm just going to stop here and show you that we have added the PLC IP address, which is sitting on our network. And then um, for this Logix um, CPLX, we have the device groups, that's topic four. There's, there are no device items. We don't need to reference anything here. And then there's this auto build. So now for the um, auto build part, which is the part that we're focused on in this video, I'm going to choose offline mode and I'm going to browse for that L5X file that we just exported from our PLC um, software. And I'm gonna say, okay, so we're gonna open that. And, sorry, I'm going to go to the Galaxy and I'm going to click on Auto Build. This is the new Galaxy that I've just created. And the device group is Topic 4. And then you can always add a prefix, like for example, you can add PLC67 before your template names and um, instances. So you can add a prefix before your template and instance names, basically. Uh, just, just in case you needed to differentiate between different templates. Or templates. And then I'm going to click next. And as you can see in this page here, it is giving me a warning and saying that these templates and instances will be skipped. And that happens in case there's some sort of error. And for whatever reason, 
or to build this go to skip some templates and instances in my case there the list is empty so there's nothing to be skipped so i'm going to click on next and then as you can see here there are some um basically like um configuration options here to filter your templates i don't have so many templates so i'm just going to leave everything the way it is and i'm interested specifically in this val udt so i'm going to click on that and as you can see once i clicked on the valve udt the timer also got clicked and if i try to unselect this uh, it's saying that the template is referenced in another check template which is the valve udt right so this got checked by default um, i can uncheck it if i uncheck the valve udt but once i check the valve udt it, the timer is also going to be checked and if you click on this arrow here, you can see all the elements that are included in this UDT. Now you can always import all of them or select whatever you're interested in. And in my case, I'm only going to select a few of them. So I'm going with the auto command and auto status and then closed and then open, right? And that's all. And I'm going to uncheck the instances. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to make some changes on these elements or attributes, basically, in System Platform. Um, and then I'm going to come back and import the instances. You can always do this in one step. If you are OK with, imp like, if you're OK with selecting all of these elements and not making any changes in the templates, and if you want to just import everything the way it is in the PLC into your system platform. You can always check everything all together. But in my case, I want to make some changes on the auto command and auto status. So I'm going to uncheck the instances and then I'm going to, I'm going to come back and import them later. At this point, I'm happy with the selection. So I'm going to click on next. And this is just a review for whatever is going to be created in the system platform. That's the timer and the value DT template. I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to say start building now. So now, as you can see, I only have very um, lightweight program. Therefore, it's only going to take a few seconds for AutoBuild to create the templates in System Platform. Now, if you have a larger program, it's going to take longer, but you can always monitor the status of the um, AutoBuild basically in this screen right here just to make sure that everything is progressing and it's not it's not stuck somewhere so i'm going back to system platform now to see i'm going to go to the derivation view and see the template that was created there you go so this is the timer and this is the valve udt now if i double click on that i will only see the attributes that i've checked there's the auto command, auto status, and then the closed and the open commands and statuses. And now I want to make a change here. Uh, by default, it comes with the IO feature enabled for the auto command and the auto status. But what I want to do is I'm going to uncheck this um, IO feature for both of them. And then I'm going to save and close this template. So now I made a change in the template that was created in system platform using auto build and i'm going to go back to auto build one more time and now i'm going to say i want to copy these two instances so what auto build does here is it takes into consideration the changes that you've just made in the template and system platform so you see those io features that i unchecked it's going to take that into consideration when it creates the instances and um, that's why it's best practice basically to do it into two steps instead of having to make the changes in every single instance. So I'm going to leave everything the way it is here. And I'm just going to click on next one more time. And I'm going to say start building now. All right, so now we go back to System Platform. As you can see here, there is um, a plus sign next to the template, to the Valve template. And once I expand that, there is Valve 1 and Valve 2 instances. So I'm gonna double click on Valve 1 to see if the changes that I've 
that I have implemented in the template are implemented here. And as you can see, it has the same attributes. It doesn't have every single element as in the uh, PLC program. It only has the attributes that I've checked for the template. And as you can see, it made these changes on the auto command and auto status for the IO feature. They're both unchecked, right? But the rest are, are still checked because they didn't change those in the template. And that's the point of doing it in two steps, basically. So now let's say I'm happy with everything I have here. I can always uh, export these objects, these inst the templates and, and instances and import them into my production galaxy. Now that I'm sure uh, that everything is configured the way, I, the way I want it to be and that I'm happy with all the uh, basically attributes and the features.